Hello, this is Dr. Loach from humanbodyhelp.com and today we're going to run through the muscles of this little guy right here, the small muscle man model. This video is the trunk head and neck video. We'll start off with the muscles of the head. So this muscle right here is the front talus muscle. This muscle right here is orbicularis oculi around the eye. Ocular refers to eye. Okay, this would be nasalis right here and up here these fibers running in this direction would be procerus. This muscle running down alongside the nose down to the upper lip is levator labii superioris aliquinasi. Okay. This muscle right here is zygomaticus major going to the corner of the mouth and then zygomaticus minor runs from the zygomatic bone going to the upper lip. This muscle right here is orbicularis oris, and we can see depressor anguli oris over here. Okay. This is depressor labii inferioris right here, and here we've got the mentalis muscle. This muscle right here is the rhizorius muscle, and then masseter would be on the side here. In the neck, we've got the sternohyoid muscle here. Right here, we have the omohyoid muscle. And then over here, we have the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay, it goes from the sternum, the clavicle, up to the mastoid process of the temporal bone. Okay. Over here, we've got another piece of the omohyoid muscle that would attach here and then go up to this bone right here being the hyoid bone. We've got digastric muscles underneath here, okay, and the digastric muscle would form a sling to elevate the hyoid bone. Um, we were also going to have scalene muscles in here. Okay, anterior, middle, and posterior scalene as well. From the lateral view, we can see some of the orbicularis oculi here. We can see some of the frontalis here. We can see masseter right here. And over here, we can see rhizorius. In here, we can see the buccinator muscle. This is going to help to compress the cheeks against the teeth so that we can push food between the teeth or so that we can blow up balloons or play musical instruments. Okay. Right here, right here is going to be the auricularis superior. Auricularis anterior would be here, superficial to the temporalis muscle, which would send fibers down here underneath the zygomatic arch and down onto the coronoid process of the mandible. This back here is auricularis posterior. And then back here we would be able to see some of the fibers of the occipitalis muscle. This white tendinous structure right up on top here, this is the galea aponeurotica that the occipitalis and the frontalis muscles attach to. Sometimes we consider all of this as one structure and we call it the epicranius. Epicranius is a combination of occipitalis, frontalis, and the galea aponeurotica right here. Down in the neck, we can see the sternocleidomastoid muscle right here. We can see the upper trapezius fibers going here up to the occiput. In this little area between here, we can see levator scapulae right here, which would go to the transverse processes in the upper cervical spine. And this right here would be splenius capitis going to the skull. These muscles right here are pectoralis major. Here we have the rectus abdominis muscles. These white lines are called tendinous inscriptions or tendinous intersections. They give the muscle a little bit extra leverage in order to flex the trunk. The external abdominal obliques would be here and here. Those fibers run in this diagonal direction. If we were to move the model 
so that we can see the side, we'd be able to see serratus anterior really well and how the serratus anterior fibers tie in with the external abdominal oblique fibers here to make this zigzag line. If we were to go to the back, we could see this large diamond-shaped muscle right here, which would be the trapezius muscle. We could also see other muscles in the back, like the latissimus dorsi, commonly known as the lats. We can also see deltoid muscles here and here. And we can also see these muscle fibers here, which would be considered the muscle fibers of the infraspinatus muscle. We won't be able to see supraspinatus because supraspinatus is up here underneath the trapezius. And we also have infraspinatus over here. This muscle right here is teres minor, the same as this muscle right here. And then teres major would be this muscle and this muscle right here. This is the thoracolumbar fascia right here, and that's going to help to attach latissimus dorsi to the pelvic structures down here, including the posterior iliac crest, the sacrum, and coccyx. Okay. This muscle right here would be gluteus maximus, and deep to gluteus maximus would be gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.